Hi, welcome in this, in this video about application performance monitoring. Um, in this video, we'll be discussing the uh, functionality about real user monitoring, so the browser-based monitoring. Um, one of the frequent asks or situations that we see with customers is that a customer calls in, says I had a problem, and it's pretty hard for support or for development to figure out what this user has done. So what I've done is I went through the Trace Explorer, Trace Explorer UI. Uh, I hit the users session button or the users button, and that gives me a list of all the users. So by name, I could select the, the user that I want, and I can see that it has a slightly off app dex. Uh, there has been a couple of errors with this, this user. So when this user calls in and I would like to know what they've done throughout the course of the day, I can just click on this and get me all the traces that were available for this particular user at a particular time. If I know where they're stuck or what's happened, I could search for it or use the trace duration to um, set the list in a way that I would like to. Uh, right now, I already see that there's at least one page that's pretty slow for them. That's the confirm uh, page. So if I would like to figure out what happened there, um, I could see multiple services are being used and there's time spent in different services. So if I wanna investigate this, just click this and it expands and immediately tells me what was going on uh, with this particular page update. It went from a full page update to ask for a Ajax call using the front store uh, application server, then made a call into the payments uh, service which didn't took, take long at all. Verified payment was being uh, used and then finally it called into a ad service. And the ad service here seems to be problematic because it takes most of the time for this uh, entire thing to complete. So this is the one that you want to investigate. This is the one that we would like to see additional details on. It allows us to see those additional de details, basically all attributes that are there for a particular um, for a particular request are there. I can see on which app server it's been running. I can see all the different uh, attributes being done. If I would like to, I could just dive in here or I could say, oh, I want to compare this to all the other requests for this particular ad service using the services uh, query. A very quick way of seeing what happened to a user, where they got stuck or where, where the delay was and how to triage and investigate where the problem might be. Thanks for watching.